All right, hey guys, it's Rob Case here. I am a paddling technique coach located in Northern California. I got a lot of emails about the Jack Robinson Leo Fioravanti paddle battle at J Bay. So I wanted to break that down for you and let you know why Jack won that paddle battle, seemingly from coming from behind um, to win it. So there are actually four reasons why Jack Robinson came from behind and won that paddle battle. First reason is stroke rate. Second reason, more effective propulsion. Third reason, heart rate. And fourth reason, drafting. So I'll break it down for you one by one. Let's start with stroke rate. First, we need to understand that speed is a function of stroke rate and distance per stroke. So measuring one minute of paddling during the stage in which Jack passed Leo, I measured he took 110 strokes while Leo took 102 strokes. So this leads to an 8% advantage in stroke rate. Assuming they both have a similar distance per stroke, you can now see the speed differential. However, I'm also concluding that Jack had more effective propulsion, which would increase the distance he travels with each stroke he takes. Just a 10% improvement in distance per stroke yields, in this case, an additional 10.8% speed advantage. So how did I come to the conclusion that Jack had more effective propulsion? Well, two reasons. One, he needed more than an 8% advantage on speed to move past Leo as fast as he did. That was giveaway number one. But two, when looking closer at his entry point and entry angle versus Leo's, you can clearly see Jack's setup for propulsion is superior. When the entry point is closer to the head, as you can see with Jack versus Leo, Jack's stroke rate will automatically increase. But it's his entry angle that makes the biggest difference in his stroke's propulsive effectiveness. An earlier entry allows Jack to enter steeper. When he's able to enter steeper, he's able to dive the arm into the propulsive phase of the stroke sooner and push backward over a longer period of time. Leo's overreaching is most likely leading him to pushing down in the first part of his stroke until his arm begins pushing backward. So even though Leo and Jack are similarly sized on similar boards, by overreaching, Leo puts his stroke at a disadvantage to Jack's because he's getting a portion of the propulsion Jack is. And Leo's pushing down wasting valuable energy that doesn't take him in the correct direction, which is forward. Now, you also need to take into context the beginning of the paddle battle. Leo had started at a disadvantage when it comes to energy use. He had already been paddling for 45 seconds and had taken two waves in a matter of a few minutes prior to Jack's one wave. Now, several studies from 1991 to 2006 to 2012, 2018, and 2019 have shown that heart rate is at its highest when a surfer kicks out of a wave, when they finish a wave. So Leo had taken two waves before the paddle battle to Jack's one wave had even begun. He was already starting at a higher heart rate than Jack, and Leo had already been paddling out for 45 seconds before the paddle battle started. Now, Peter Mel discussed breathing as a possible advantage that Jack had. And while there may be some merit to that, Jack simply started with a lower heart rate to begin with and traveled a shorter distance. What made it extra dramatic was the duck dive that separated them and the comeback after. So finally, after the duck dive, Jack appears to align into Leo's slipstream. Drafting, or traveling behind another swimmer or surfer, 
allows the following surfer to let the leading surfer break all of the frontal drag. Drafting is most effective when the following surfer is right on the leading surfer's feet, but even a few feet behind can help the following surfer. Notice Jack's increased stroke rate happen as he removes himself from the slipstream, mostly for acceleration purposes, but also now because he's tasked with breaking his own frontal drag. So there you have it. Jack's miracle explained, though it wasn't as much a miracle as a combination of technique and a built-in advantage with the heart rate head start. So if you're interested in more paddling technique, feel free to check out my level one paddling technique online course, or go ahead and visit me here for an in-person analysis. Until then, I'll see you in the water.